in the plans. What do they have us filming today? What? You can't be serious. For, for real. Like, you want to film? Okay. I guess that's what we're doing. Well, I guess that is what this has come to. We're the, only the third video in, and we are now giving you guys the full inside of a truck. A freaking truck. Let's get a little into detail about my Ram 2500 2018 Laramie. Yes, she's a beauty. Non mega cab because I didn't want to drive a limo. No, I don't know. I just never looked, liked the look of the, the mega cab with the big, huge, weird section in the back. A little bit about this truck. I've had it for a year now. Now, not just any truck, I definitely wanted to get a diesel because, well, diesels rock, man. I've had a lot of gas trucks, and once I went to a diesel truck, well, like they say about other things, you just you just never go back. Now, unfortunately, I had just watched this truck, but uh, just my drive over here, I have already caught some bugs. So, unfortunately, my truck is a murderer in this video, and I apologize about that. But let's dive right on in. I mean, a truck is a truck. Not many people who would be watching a video would watch a review on a truck, but that's what we're doing today. We're giving you guys the full inside of my truck. It's it's pretty much stock, and not, not much you can really do to a truck. I mean, there is and there's not. You know, I don't really put too much money into it. It's already expensive as enough as it is. I did lift the vehicle, so it does have a really cool, you know, uh, four-inch lift from Super Lift, which I mainly got for these really cool radius arms. I think those are pretty freaking wicked. And of course the springs. Now, I really hate a rake look truck, and for those of you that don't know, rake is when the front of the truck is lower than the rear of the truck. I hate that look. So unfortunately, it still had a little bit of that, and I did add a one inch spacer, which some people would say is like the worst thing I could have done, but I, I did it, okay, I'm sorry. I did the entire lift myself, which really kicked my butt. I, I filmed it so you guys can see what that was like. The truck currently sits on 35 inch tires, all the way around, of course, you know, on a 20 by 10 rim, negative 18 offset. Oh, sorry. Sorry, technical difficulties. I do think it's kind of funny that every time a uh, vehicle comes, once I've like claimed the spot, they kind of just leave. So it's kind of cool. Cause if I get here and someone's already here, I'm just like, damn, and then I leave. But so far, every time I come here, everybody comes and like, ah, oh, dang man, my spot. And then they leave. So it's kind of like, sweet, <laughs> I got the spot. We do need to, um, Get some new puppies there. These are running kind of low for my preference, but I did also lift the vehicle enough to handle 37s. So that is our next goal is to throw some 37s on here. I was kind of waiting for these to go down. Just kind of sad that it only took 30,000 miles to do so. So keep in mind, these are 12 ply Toyos in case anybody has a truck out here, which I doubt that you guys would uh, be watching this and, and actually have this truck. But if you do, please definitely leave me a like because that, that's kind of cool. Most people think I'm kind of weird that out of all the vehicles I could have bought in this price range, I opted for a truck, but I love it. It's it's honestly like, I love this more than my M3. Just just don't tell my M3, please. Now let's go on on the inside. Uh, don't mind my Coke here. I just kind of grab that actually. That was really good. <sighs> Gosh, mm, yum. You know what, honestly, this truck kind of surprises me. You know, it's a little more, uh, a lot more luxurious than you would kind of think a truck would be. Um, my biggest cool thing that I really wanted was a moonroof in here. Now one downside, I really dislike that the newer Rams now have an all black interior where all of this is black. I really wish I could have had that with this. And I didn't know that that's what the fifth gens were gonna look like. And then I bought this truck the last year it was offered and boom, there you go, black interior that I don't have. That's awesome. Same with the screen. You know, it's a really cool screen. Gotta love it. It's play, it has really good navigation, but uh, you could have had a full on tablet if you got the fifth gen. So again, kind of kind of sad about that, but oh well, it's a truck, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day. What's funny, this truck actually has more luxuries than my M3 does. It has some cool features like automatic, uh, you know, power pedal and we do have the power fold mirrors and all other kind of full things you know auto up and down windows for the front kind of some cool little chrome accents other than this one here likes to blind you around here on this side where we're gonna see the one downside as well of this truck and that's thing this little thing called death you don't want to know about it and neither do I want to explain about it because it sucks underneath the hood I'm sorry underneath the hood Everything is just bone stock. I definitely just kind of stayed under warranty under there and I haven't really done much to it. Plus everything's like uh, federally like illegal to do at the moment uh, with emissions. So we won't talk about that here because you know, 
we just we just won't talk about that here. And this grill is not the actual original grill to this truck. It is a Laramie 2017 grill from an actual truck. But mine had like the new weird like new design which I just kind of felt wasn't as aggressive for this truck. So I was able to find this one from a really good friend of mine and now it's on this truck and I think it honestly makes it look a lot better. Uh, let me just grab this again. Oh, there we go. You guys, I know this was a lot harder of a video to watch because it's just not as exciting as an M3 or a car, but I just felt like I should still at least give you a little insight of, you know, the other half of my life. Maybe you're in the market looking at a truck and you just kind of want to know what the inside of a truck looks like or feels or what you got to do to lift it and whatnot because that was not fun at all. Hey guys, just want to give you guys a quick disclaimer. This is not just a channel for reviews. We're not just doing reviews. We do fix stuff and we do mod things and and we do help people fix their cars as well and we buy cars and we drive cars and we do everything, okay? It just so happens to be that there's all these reviews because I gotta get you guys to understand what we're driving. Then, then the magic happens. Anyways, hope you guys love it. Thanks!